This time on the Driver's Corner, we're going to be talking about MaxLite Fook Replica Wheels. Stay tuned. That's right, we're talking about the dirty word in Porsche restoration and design, replicas. I accidentally bought these uh, Max Lights off of eBay. I was searching for a set of wheels to replace the rollers that came on this car and I needed, I really wanted the Fook look, uh, but I didn't have Fook money because I still don't even have an engine for this car. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and look at replica wheels. There is a serious, serious snob issue on the internet forums, especially around the Porsche uh, brand and getting replica wheels. I've seen tons of people kind of get slammed pretty hard for putting replicas on there, people saying they're ugly and uh, just that they're really kind of terrible. So uh, I typically am the guy who buys things that people don't like. So what I have here are the Max Lite uh, Fook replica wheels in a 16 by seven and a 16 by eight. So Max Lights are kind of the middle of the road as far as the replica market goes for Porsche wheels. Um, they're well constructed, they have good reviews, and they aren't the cheapest, but they're definitely not the most expensive replicas out there. There's a lot of people out there that are renovating, restoring, or outlawing old 911s. Uh, lots of those came with cookie cutter wheels or have since had them swapped out for BBSs or something else that just don't quite have that vintage look. And so the, the aftermarket replica market is pretty uh, hot right now, just in general, as more and more manufacturers are seeing that uh, people like me are gonna end up picking up a set of wheels like this at a bargain. I understand the concourse guys. I understand needing a set of factory Fook forged wheels. I totally get that. It makes a lot of sense when you're building a white glove car that just every detail has to be perfect and your numbers matching. Well, as you can tell on uh, my 911, uh, that's not gonna be the case. So this is a 77 911 that I am doing an outlaw build on. It has been uh, bastardized throughout its entire life and I'm gonna continue that process. So the number one reason that people kind of dog on the Fook replica wheels is because they aren't forged. These Max Lights are uh, cast aluminum versus a uh, forged billet. So what does that mean? Well, forged wheels uh, is basically they're made out of a big chunk of billet that's heated up and then uh, they are pressurized into the shape that, um, that we're looking for. So that's how the original ones were done in the 60s and 70s and they're still being done that way today. It makes them a little bit lighter it makes them less porous, it makes them a little bit stronger. So that's why people, when you hear people compare forged and cast, that's what it is. So casting, like these wheels are, these cast aluminum wheels, they have a mold, they heat up some aluminum, they pour it in there, they let it dry, uh, cool off, and then they pull it out. And so that's how you end up with a wheel like this, is from casting versus forging. Um, it's easier, it's cheaper, and uh, there's more chance that the wheels aren't quite as strong. Now, I would challenge anybody to look at manufacturing processes today versus the late 60s, early 70s, and tell me that a cast aluminum wheel is not as strong as maybe a, uh, a forged wheel that's been uh, out there rolling around on the street for the last 40 or 50 years. So uh, I, I will challenge the fact that um, these are probably just as strong as the original wheels are now after being on the road for so long. Now that that's all out of the way, let's take a look at these replica wheels. I got these for $1,053 shipped to my door. Uh, I did have to put a set of tires on. I, I used some cheaper tires that I've used in the past. Uh, they're an Achilles brand tire. Um, they're out of um, Indonesia. These ones are the Achilles ATR Sport, not the Sport 2s that I've done the previous reviews on. So these are the Sports. I'm not gonna do a review on this particular tire until this car is on the road. And by then, I don't even know, I may have to replace the tires just from age, from sitting around at that point. But um, the w rims came for $1,053, shipped to my door, taxes, all that other stuff. And then I did have to buy the center caps. So the center caps were not included and I did have to buy those separately. I think I ended up paying $100 for the center cap. So I'm at right under $1,200 uh, 
in these replica wheels and, um, and center tabs. $1,053 plus uh, the 100, so $1,153 is about a third of what you're currently gonna pay for a comparable set of factory Fook wheels. Now, these are not the, the style that I actually wanted. I want the ones that have the uh, silver pedal right here. Uh, I'll show you a close up here in a second of what this pedal area looks like. And I really wanted these to be matched to the lip. So I wanted this uh, diamond cut lip um, color on the inside of this pedal lip. Now you can get those from Max Light. So they have a, a bunch of different sizes and styles that you can choose from. You can get chrome ones, you can get uh, like the Singer, uh, you know, diamond cut style, you can get black, you can get silver. There's a bunch of different kinds you can get from them, but the black were the cheapest. So I thought, because I'm doing this car on a, on a budget as much as you can on an older 911, that I would uh, buy the cheaper ones and then I'll paint these uh, or sand them down and, and refinish them to match this lip when the time comes. But for now, the black looks good. Overall, I'll talk to you a little bit about the build quality on these wheels. They're, they all showed up very straight. I had them checked. Uh, there were no blemishes or anything on them. They were packed really nicely. The finish is actually really, really smooth. This is a matte black and it doesn't show any, any uh, you know, poor casting or anything like that. They're very well finished. And then this diamond cut uh, lip is just kind of a really neat deal. So a lot of the other Fuchs that you'll see will have almost a chrome uh, lip, like it's polished, uh, highly polished. And I really didn't want that look with my car because I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with kind of the matte finish uh, trim and, and even though I have some chrome on the car, like around the taillights and the headlights and uh, those other pieces, I'm going to do that, um, that matte uh, chrome finish on the window surrounds and the door handles and stuff like that. So this right here is a huge, it was a huge benefit for me to have this lip. And I'm going to show you another wheel here in a minute, uh, another replica wheel. They're a Stark wheel. You used to be able to buy them on tire rack. And I'll show you the difference in this lip uh, when I get to that and I start talking about those Stark wheels in a minute. So these right here are overall a very good looking wheel. They are a, like I said earlier, a 16 by seven and a 16 by eight. So you cannot swap the wheels back and forth. The offsets aren't right. So don't think you can just go ahead and buy 16 by eights and they'll fit the front because they won't. I already tried that. Uh, they also sell them in a 16 by nine. They sell them in 15s and I think 17s. You can also get these in 17 inch. Uh, but don't quote me on that. All right, so the 16 by seven wheels come in at 16.31 pounds. So I weighed these before I put them on the car and the front wheels were 16.31 pounds. The rear wheels, which are 16 by eights, uh, those came in at 17.42 pounds. So they are definitely heavier than uh, the factory uh, Fook, wheel, Fook wheels, but they aren't, um, they're not so heavy that you know, it's going to slow your car down too terribly much. Uh, the 16 by seven wheels and the back and the 16 by eights are five by one thirty lug pattern. And they also, uh, the fronts are a 23.3, uh, positive offset and the rears are a 10.6 positive offset. These are TUV certified. And, uh, for what little I know about TUV certification could probably fill a library. Uh, my understanding is it's a Techmeister Wungern Darkenberger. I have no idea. It's some kind of German rating uh, for safety, and they apparently pass that, uh, or at least meet the minimum requirements. So I guess we're good to go as far as the Germans know. So this right here is a uh, Stark Design Fook replica wheel, and I'm going to show you some of the differences here because I know these are ones that other guys are. Um, are using hold on come on camera there we go so these are ones that other guys are using uh, when they're talking about doing budget uh, budget Fook replica wheels uh, there's a lot of differences now these ones have a much shinier like your basic aluminum wheel lip uh, so it's it's got a lot more kind of shine to it on that side uh, the pedals are a much different shape so they kind of come in and they do a hard a hard edge right here and then slope into the back of this wheel where if you look at these ones these are a little bit more traditional as far as the way that they come together on the wheel so they're a little bit more rounded and then they blend a little easier the 
the uh, Stark wheels definitely have some layer of um, of casting differences where this it doesn't quite look like a Fook to those that might be uh, a little bit more versed. For your average guy going to Cars and Coffee, nobody's going to care that these aren't 100% right, but this shape is definitely off in comparison to even the Max lights, which I'm sure is even a little bit off in comparison to the original Fook wheels, which I don't have to show you, but I'm sure lots of you guys have seen them. Uh, these ones were an absolute bargain, uh, so I couldn't pass them up. I have, uh, I have a set of them. Where are they? Hold on. There we go. So I have a set of them kind of as a backup. I bought them on a whim and I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but these were silver, which is what I wanted the centers to be. And I did want this area down here to be black. So I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might sell them or trade them off on other parts that I'm going to end up needing. But just so you kind of have an example of another uh, replica wheel and how they look. The Max lights, uh, I think, are a little bit more authentic looking, even though they're missing the extra stepper and some other bits and pieces that are inside, as far as design-wise, on the on the original Fuchs. Overall, what are my thoughts on this wheel? Uh, I think for the money, uh, I couldn't be happier for the money. I mean, I'm at $1,200 plus tires. These are dirt cheap tires, by the way, so that doesn't even count. But I got a, a full set of rollers on this thing uh, for well under what it would have cost me to find anything that was original, beat up, used, needing refinishing anyway. I really do think that for somebody doing a resto mod, somebody doing a outlaw build, somebody that just doesn't want the cookie cutters or the old uh, BBS style wheels or something that just kind of dates the car a little bit, I think putting these replica Fook wheels on there is not as much blasphemy as people might say. I think that uh, people always need to remember that your car is your car and thank goodness nobody else has to drive it. So uh, for those of you that maybe are on the fence about doing this, uh, I can highly recommend uh, the initial quality of these wheels. I think that I think that they're a really good option for people that are just trying to you know get that look and aren't so concerned about you know, forged versus cast. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll uh, have another video up for you soon. Ask any questions and please help me out by subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. Thanks a bunch.